Hello YouTube, this is Ceiling Cat. Um, I'm sorry for the lack of Let's Plays, but I've just been extraordinarily lazy. However, I, I, I might upload one tomorrow. I probably will. But right now, I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial on how to use the reactor in 3D Studio Max. Um, I'm going to be using the 2009 32-bit version. And I'm also going to assume that you have rudimentary knowledge of how to work it, like making objects, moving them around, rotating them, scaling them, etc., etc. Um, for those who don't know what Reactor does, it basically simulates real-world effects um, without you having to put in too much effort. You just have to make it all flow correctly. So let's just start this off with the real ba with the basics um, which is making a bo this ball fall onto this box let's just say it's the floor so what you first want to do is create them yes then move the sphere fairly high above the box use the rubber band selection box select both the box and the sphere click rigid body collection it might not be in your sidebar so if you want to start working with reactors I really suggest that you um, edit your user interface and such and put it there because it makes things run so much faster now now we have both the box and the sphere and they're both rigid body as you can see which means now they'll act in a reactor simulation as if they were completely solid objects. Now this button here is the preview animation. It will preview everything in the Havoc windows. So watch as it press play. Nothing happens. Now the reason that happens is because the sphere has no mass. So if you don't want any warnings to pop up about it being less dense than water you want to make it one or higher now listen to me here this is really important do not give the box any mass if you do that it will start to move so in the preview window it now falls now it looks really boring right now so let's spice it up a little Bye rotating this now it rolls down the box now this button below it is create animation it will take what's in the preview window and transfer that into 3ds max so that you can see what all is going on and edit it accordingly I'll show you right now it's done making this I don't want this to show up anymore so now as I move the time slider you can see that the ball is moving down and then rolling now since just rolling off is boring we want to give it some pizzazz so let's make a tube for it to go into and we'll do that by making a tube however if you've been messing around with reactor on your own then you should know that when you do this it will just bounce right off as I will attempt to show you oh, of course you have to turn it into a rigid body or else it will never show up making everything moot rolls down and just lands on it doesn't go through the reason for that is because it is acting as a convex hull you want to switch it to a concave mesh meaning that it will go through every little nook and cranny possible now when we do this it smoothly goes through I guess at least not the not quite the word but you know what I mean so we want to make this look even better 
I mean, we want to impress everybody that we know, right? So, let's do... Let's push this sphere. Now, if you make an animation using auto key and then you try to put it into reactor nothing will happen it will just act as if it were at the last key so what we want to do is auto key um, let's set the key here two frames later it will fly out and hit the ball now First off, we want to make it rigid body, of course. Then, you select the box. Open property editor. Then, under the physical properties, change it to unyielding. And then, in the preview window, we will see that it rolls down, and it moves and punts the ball away. Um... Yeah, that should be about it because this is the real bit. These are just really basic things right now of what you can do using Reactor. Um, if this gets fairly decent reception, then I might make another one. Um, also, post your comments of what you think I should make another one of because I would actually really appreciate that. Um, I'm taking a class in my high school right now on 3D animation my third year now and this year I'm practicing with reactor to try and get a lot better with it so yeah any suggestions any comments anything or if you know of an easier way to do any of this stuff I did I would love to hear it um, thank you for watching this is ceiling cat and I will be bringing you some more let's plays and I will be having music in the next one. Farewell.